Shit. I'm going to say this. Nah, women just traces, bro. Okay, I'm going to tell y'all this story. Y'all want to hear this story? I'm going to tell y'all like this. No, we're not. Hey, be quiet. If it don't apply, it don't apply. This was a mi not a minute ago. I'm not going to say when this was. Nothing. I got to be. I can't go in depth with this story. I'm going to keep it short with y'all so y'all just understand the treachery. I'm at this spot with my mans, right? I'm going to keep this very brief. This is a brief story. Not yesterday. It wasn't yesterday. I'm at this spot with my mans. Shout out to that man. He chocolate. Actually, no, he's not chocolate. He's black. He darker than me, but that's very easy to accomplish. Hold on. I'm at this spot. Nigga, there's this girl and her friend. Now, if y'all ever been to a party, I don't know if y'all ever pushed up on these women. I mean, <laughs> yo, why do I say it like that? I don't know if y'all ever pushed up, like, did a in real life, you feel me, like, slid or, like, y'all get what I'm saying, like, you feel me? A two man, a real life two man, like no gay shit. I'm making shit sound gay right now, bro. Just listen, just listen, just listen, just listen. Right? So, this how it be. Most of the time, ugh, most of the time it's one good looking friend. Niggas notice. I'm going to keep it a buck. One good looking friend, the other one look like a vulture. I don't really know how to explain it. Not vulture, bro, but uh, just like, you feel me? Just not as good looking, buddy. So, right? In this specific situation, she didn't look like a vulture. One was good looking. The other girl was a munchkin. That's nice really what it was. Like, no, not average. No, we're not even talking average. She was, which is okay. You know, that's okay. Maybe someone will like, maybe someone like big girls, pigs, whoever. I don't know. Hey, bro. Niggas is pigs too. Big niggas pigs too. Everyone who big is a pig. So, you know, I show my mans this, right? Max and he like, he not trying to slide. I'm like, okay, cool. Fuck you. I'm going to go out myself. Now, her friend was definitely off it. So, I'm like, oh, this is easy. This is easy. You feel me? I just got to really apply my skills in real life. So, you know, I push up on her. We're just talking, right? She said I look like some basketball player. I don't know what that was supposed to mean. Uh, she's probably racist. She was Hispanic, not Mexican. So, stop talking. Um, Right? So, I get her number, blah, blah. Boom, we're good. Move along. I see her again, right? Oh my gosh, this might be the first story I tell y'all like this, but so I'm gonna keep it very brief, like not too explanatory, right? I see her again. I'm like, yo, this my time to shine, and I could get Bob. Yo, no, 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 no. I said that wrong. And I'm getting Bob vibes from her. Yo, you feel Bob vibes? Like you'll know if a woman a treat or if a girl treats a nigga a treat, whoever. Pause on that. Because I don't push no niggas. Even though I got pushed by a nigga yesterday. I've been pushed by a couple niggas now in my life. I'm going to get to that. Anyways, I go up to her, right? So now we talking. I really just utilize all my risk skills, all the risk comps I've watched in my lifetime. And, um, you know, we dip out. I don't want to uh, I don't want to give too much details. We dip. Yo, we go to the bathroom, all right? But this is my man's crib, like, you feel me? So he know the spots. So he was like, yo, we got a back room. I'm like, oh, for real? I'm like, oh, okay, okay, back. So I'm like, yo, mom, I hope you're not watching. She's on vacation, so hopefully she's not looking. We go to the back room, right? It's like this little garage, but it's like there's couches. So, nigga, that's all. You really don't need much to apply, you feel me? You don't need too much. You don't, nigga, we don't need no goddamn bunk bed. It's not, you know, no one need all that. So there's couches. We go in the room. As Gauls would say, I do my do. We're out of there. Right? You know, she go back in before me. When she back in the house, yo, I'm like, yo, let me go pee. I'm telling you, this 10 minutes later, bro. I'm not even trolling. Then you were I'm going to the bathroom. I'm going to pee. The fat Guess who she's Little talking to? I will come to Jersey and give you a wedgie until your underwear is touching those dusty cornrows. Her and her chopped ass penguin of a friend over there in their corner talking to my mans. Now, mind you, what y'all y'all can have y'all? No, not gauze. I've never yo. I've never been to a party with that nigga, bro. I'm in the corner, bro. I mean, they're in the corner. I'm walking up as I'm walking up. I'm going to tell y'all exactly how it is. Hold up. This the hallway, bro. This the hallway. Bathroom there, there. It's like one of them hallways you can turn right or left. Bitch, that's every hallway. I'm walking up. She's right there. Standing with this nigga, bro. He has his phone now. 
He's like, yo, bro, I'm trying to get top. Now, my my man's is one of them friends who, when he drunk, he don't know what he's doing. He says all type of out of pocket shit when the girls around. It don't matter. There was a time I'm not gonna put his say his name because then you feel me. I'll put bro on blast. The nigga just yo. He tried to push this girl. She dubbed him. The nigga gonna say you're fat anyway. What the fuck? It's the liquor talking. The Migos. He only do that when the you feel me. When he off the liquor, I'm like, why are you doing this? It's not spanky. So anyways, nigga calling her fat anyway. What that make you? A fat girl lover. What's worse? She was born being fat. And not necessarily, but you choose to be a fat girl lover. So let's continue. I'm in his spot. He say that. He's like, I'm just trying to get top. I'm like, nigga, she right there. And two, I just, I just cracked. What are you doing? Right? And he just... I don't care because I was never going to talk to this girl again. Bro. She sees me. She's like awkward, walks away because she realized she knew we were friends. She's dumb as shit. One year, Gany. No, I did not eat nothing. I didn't eat nothing that night. Stop talking to me, bro. I'm in it, right? And then I'm telling her, I'm like, yo, what the? I mean, I don't care, nigga. Like, you feel me? You could do that, but you realize what just happened. Like, if you want sloppy seconds, that's fine. Right? Bro. No, I didn't know she didn't eat my ass. I'm not looking at y'all no more. This happened back. I'm not saying when this happened. Nothing. Nothing. I'm just telling y'all it happened. Because if I give time frames, I don't know who's watching this. So I can't do that. It gets too difficult. My life's going to be ruined. So, bro, after that happened, bro, right? Two things happened. She going to text this nigga and say on some shit like, Oh, I had to leave. Sorry. Oh, my God. Wait. Oh, my God. Nigga, he did get top. Okay, this is what happened. No, no, no. <laughs> Yo, so they, no, 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 no. Yo, they went back in the living room. These two bodied ass. You feel me? First of all, her sister, not her sister, her friend over here just twiddling with her fingers in the living room doing nothing. She, in the, she over there in the living room. Uh, the tree she's next to her, obviously, right? They're in the living room. My man's like, yo, bro, I'm horny. I just, let me do this. I'm like, be my fucking guest. This not my lady. Do what you gotta do. Do your do. This nigga go in there, say, hey, there's a back room. Bring her there. So I'm a, obviously I'm not in the room with him, bitch. I'm not no cook. You feel me? So I'm gonna tell y'all what happened afterwards. You feel me? What he told me. He told me they went in that basement, garage, don't matter, dark room. He's telling me, stop saying the S word, bro, that's nasty. He's telling me he went in there and was like, your friend just brought me here. Now, why she would say that, I don't know. There's clearly some missing screws up here. W Obviously, stop. just based off hearing this story, you can tell there's some missing screws. This somebody's daughter. She start taking off this nigga pants, whatever. And then her drunk ass, shit, I done called her a koala, all type of shit. I'm going to let her rock this time. Call her back. Say, come back here. We got to go. You feel me? And so my nigga didn't get nothing. <laughs> this does not only happen in Jersey. In fact, it probably way worse in states like Kansas because there's only so many people to go around. Niggas and women. So he ended up getting absolutely nothing out that situation. No, she didn't throw up on my dick. Where I say that? When did I once say anything about throw up or vomit? If that happened, y'all probably wouldn't see me stream for years. Bitch, I hate throw up. And then you're going to throw up on me? And I heard stories of girls doing that. No, bro. It's not happening to me, bro. Anyways. So, the reason I brought this up is because yesterday she, or the other week, or no, a couple days ago, I'm stupid. She texted him saying, like, she was at his school again. But yeah, so oh no, 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 I left. I left out one of the biggest parts. The next day, cause I had got her number. Remember, she gonna text me and say, "Are you of age?" After already doing the do, why would you text? Do you see what I'm saying? And that's why I was telling. That's why I'm telling y'all. This somebody daughter. This somebody daughter. Why are you gonna ask that after? Now she was 19, so I'm okay. But she's a bot. I'm telling y'all niggas, this someone daughter. And this is what I'm saying. 
So, bro, this whole story, moral of the story. I think that's the first story I ever told y'all like that. Moral of the story, bro, be very careful, bro, because, hey, bro, just raise your, raise your kids right, bro. Raise them the right way. That's really all I got to say. Shit. That's a despicable night. I don't, nigga, that's not, yo, y'all think that's a despicable night? Nigga, I know girls that went to my school that got trained by seven niggas, bro. That shit is regular. Like, what are you saying? Nigga, multiple trains. I know girls that's had multiple train sessions. Multiple. Top the whole team off. Got fucked. By like five niggas. Two different sessions. Two different dates. Then got slutted out quarantine. Bitch, this high quarantine. You feel me? This when niggas was really dying to COVID. Early quarantine. No mask. Nothing. Sucking dick. No mask. I mean, I don't know how it would work with a mask, but bro, I'm telling y'all. That's a Jersey thing? They don't do that where y'all from? Y'all don't know girls like that? Nigga, there's a lot of treasures up here. Well, I mean, it's bound to happen. I'm telling y'all. We have the lowest square square mile percentage people, something like that. Where basically there's a lot of people. It, we're a highly compact state. So you feel me? When there's so many people, it's just infested, bro. Not enough land, too much people. Yeah, good thing nor not watching. So y'all telling me there was no girls like this in y'all area? You never heard of a like a tree getting trained and shit? Y'all don't Yo, if I brought that, if you're if you're a kid and you're hearing this, hey bro, let this go in one ear out the other, bro. Don't get no dirty ideas. I will never be one of them niggas that's tell y'all to fuck everything because I don't fuck everything. I don't do that. So I would never tell y'all to do that. That's not who I am. That's not my character. I'm so serious. Like you feel me? So don't be don't be that nigga. You feel me? Don't be that nigga, bro. No, I'm so serious. Don't. It's a waste of your time, bro. I can't get into no more stories, but I'm telling y'all for real, for real. Like, don't be that nigga, bro. Anyways, I get zero bitches. All right, what, what you want? What do, what do I say to that? Bro, come on. Have some faith in yourself, bro. Anyways, all right? That might be the first and last story I ever tell y'all like that. So just cherish it, bro. Because I don't like getting into that shit with y'all. Because y'all kids. Some of y'all kids. But... Anyways, I could have to told that story better, but it was a while ago, so I can't really remember. All right, look, I want to do battle rap today, bro. You feel me? It's been a little minute. I want to do battle rap. Um, We got to finish the AMP. 